Hello, I'm doing a movie review, and the movie I want to review is Mother of Tears. Now, Mother of Tears came out in 2007 and is co-written and directed by Dario Argento. Now, this is the third film in Argento's Three Mothers trilogy, the first two films in the trilogy being the 1977 film Suspiria and the 1980 film Inferno. Now, the film stars Asia Argento, who is actually Dario Argento's daughter, and it also has a brief appearance from, I believe this actor's name is Yudo Kier. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right, but he's been in a lot of movies, and he was actually in the first movie, Suspiria. However, he's not playing the same character that he played in Suspiria in this movie. The film also stars, and I'm probably going to butcher this actress's name, but I believe it's Daria Nikolodai. I'm sure I'm butchering her last name, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, but this actress, she plays the main character's mother in this movie. Well, technically the ghost of the main character's mother. And what's funny is she actually is Asia Argento's mother. She was married to Dario Argento for some time. Time, and this actress was actually in a lot of Dario Argento's earlier films like Deep Red and Phenomena. She was also in Inferno as well. Now, the plot of The Mother of Tears is it begins where members of the Catholic Church are digging up this grave in this old cemetery, and in the grave they find this urn, and in the urn they find these ancient artifacts, and these artifacts actually belong to the third mother, who is the Mother of Tears, who is the title character and the main villain of this movie. So, in the movie, this priest ends up sending the artifacts to be analyzed, and in the film, this character named Sarah, played by Asia Argento, who is an art student, basically her and her boss end up opening up this box, and after they open it up, her boss ends up getting brutally killed by these creatures who I think are supposed to be, like, demons or something, and now the character of Sarah is being pursued by evil forces. And in the film, the police think that Sarah had something to do with her boss's death, so now the police are going after her, and it turns out that witches from all over the world are coming to Rome to worship the Mother of Tears, and it turns out that the Mother of Tears is basically trying to bring about the second fall of Rome, and possibly Armageddon as well, and now Sarah has to stop the Mother of Tears, and in the film, Sarah learns that she is actually a white witch, and her mother was a very powerful witch who was actually killed by one of the three mothers years before the events of this movie, and in the film, the ghost of Sarah's mother visits her and tries to help her in her quest to defeat the Mother of Tears. Now, a lot of people say that Dario Argento kind of lost it in the 2000s. Like, a lot of people really don't like Argento's modern films, as in the films that he did in the 2000s. But this is the only film I have actually seen that Dario Argento did in the 2000s. And personally, I actually really liked this film. Now, the film does not have the same feel that the first two movies had, or even the same feel that a lot of Dario Argento's earlier films had, and it really doesn't feel the same as a traditional Dario Argento film, and the first two films in this series had this very surreal, dreamlike quality to them, whereas this film really doesn't. But just because it's different doesn't mean it's bad. I actually really, really enjoyed this one. And this film is actually quite disturbing at certain points, like, in 
the film, there's actually a scene where, basically in the movie, the Mother of Tears is causing all the people in Rome to go crazy. So there's actually a scene in this movie where you see a mother dump her child right off a bridge. Also in the film, there's a point where Sarah's boyfriend, Michael, he has a son, and his son ends up getting kidnapped by these witches. And you actually see later on the witches literally eating his son, and it's a really disturbing scene. Like, there's also a scene later on in this movie where this white witch who was helping Sarah, basically this guy who works for the Mother of Tears, kills her by shoving a broomstick right up her vagina. So, the film is actually really, really violent and disturbing, even more disturbing than the first two films. Now, the gore effects in this movie are also really good as well. However, there is some CGI in this movie, and the CGI in this film really isn't the best, but it's mostly practicals, though. So, and I think the good effects outweigh the bad effects in this movie. And I thought Asia or Agenda did a really good job as the main character, Sarah, and the character of Sarah is a pretty likable character. And I also liked a lot of the little references to the first two movies in this film. Like, in this movie, they do mention the Susie Banyan character, who was Jessica Harper's character from the first film. She is briefly mentioned in this film. So yeah, I personally recommend Mother of Tears. Once again, I can't say it's a perfect movie, and it's definitely not as good as the first two movies in this trilogy, but I thought it was an interesting conclusion to the Three Mothers series. And now that I'm done reviewing the Three Mothers series, the next horror franchise I'm going to review for Horror Month is actually the Ghoulies franchise. So my next movie review will be the film Ghoulies.